Today's story brought to you by Betty A. from Maryland, as Janice would say, or Maryland. Hello again, everyone. I'm back out here. This beautiful lake today. Uh, been out here looking for another location, and I've come to this little lake. Uh, should have brought my fishing pole. We could have done some fishing while we we're here. I've seen some jumping out there. So yeah, I'm uh, excited about uh, last video going international. That was amazing. The the um, subscriptions are going up. The views have just been amazing on all of the videos, and I'm so thankful to you for it and um, wow just applaud you. you you've you've amazed me uh, I'm just so excited again to bring another uh, salvation story to you just to uh, be blessed I, I know I say that a lot but I truly feel blessed to be able to do this that people will uh, send me their stories to share with with you all and a lot of you viewing are the ones that have shared your story as well and I and I thank you for it the uh, sky has gotten dull it was beautiful sunshine when I left uh, seems to be the new thing for me Books. and uh, yeah, I've been looking around, but I can't find that little critter that's been following me around. I don't know where he's gotten to. I'm sure he'll show up eventually, that silly otter. But um, yeah, just just a few reminders to go down here and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll get a notification when another video comes out. Um, I've been told by my manager, my wife, Janice, that on the, uh, phone, because I don't do, I don't do a phone, I have an iPad, so on the phone you have to scroll down past other videos and such and go all the way to the bottom to comment. Um, I don't know if that's about subscribing or not, um, but go to YouTube, sign in. Uh, that way you can make your comments, and, and uh, we're uh, excited to get your feedback on these and, and, and just to come and um, comment on other people's videos and, and show them some love. So we're just uh, thankful that we can help you find your way to the comments because I didn't know that that's where they were all the way way down there evidently so let me slip around back and bring you our next story okay now oh. Alrighty then, our next story is from Betty A. And Betty writes, I was raised going to church. I have always known Jesus loves me. In college, I didn't go that much. Then I met Sanford and we decided to get married. He wanted to get married. He wanted to get married in his family church. His pastor said I would have to become a Methodist to get married in the church. So I studied Excuse me. with him. I have been a Methodist ever since. I became strongly aligned with Christ. Oh, a fish jumped. <laughs> When Trey was born, I saw people, all people, 
differently because Jesus showed me what it was like to love a child and give me a glimpse of how the Lord loves us. Betty A. <laughs> Amazing. Wonderful. Exciting. Oh. And when I read this, I was so happy that I was going to be able to read this one as well. Um, two reasons. Uh, Betty A. is my sister-in-law and my sister in Christ. Two sisters, one person. How amazing. Fish are jumping. I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm going to go out there and get one. But the second thing is God showed her through a child, her child, what love really is. Because it reminds us that as parents, we have a whole new definition and meaning to love. We see that we would do anything, give anything, even our lives to protect that child. To give that child a better future and a better upbringing than, than we feel that we had. Uh, in some instances, for me, that's, that's the way it is. And then we have to think how amazing it is that we understand love in the sense that we would lay down our lives for our child. But God gave his child up. How amazing is that? God gave his child up to die. It, 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 it's hard to fathom it. It's hard to wrap your mind around it. That that's another glimpse of the amazing love that God has. That we can... That we can look to him and say, God didn't do everything to protect his son. He actually gave his son up for us. You know, and, and the son, again, to lay his life down willingly. How amazing that is. You know, I know that we hear instances of that love uh, in times of war. When, when a fellow soldier or anyone, I don't want to leave out the women that serve in our military, um, when a soldier would lay their life down for another, a friend. And, um, you know, it just reminds us how much we look to the example of Jesus Christ for that love, for that sacrificial love. And I'm thankful that, again, uh, Betty's uh, salvation story has stirred that up in my mind, in my memory. And I am thankful and praise God for giving himself, his son, uh, for each and every one of us. So I hope you have enjoyed the beautiful view here. I hear the fish behind me jumping. How exciting that is. I don't have a fishing pole. But... Um, yeah, just please continue to share these. They're so important that we would want to share these with each other. Again, for the encouragement of others in Christ and to encourage those that don't know Christ. But ultimately and always for the glory of God. I thank you. I, my love and prayers to you. Until the next one, have a blessed day. Today's location come to you, comes to you from Upper Wheels Creek at a little pond. I know I said lake 1,500 times, but a little pond here in West Virginia. So enjoy the scenery and the outdoors. Beautiful day.